So write any four tools used in recombinant technology, enzymes, vectors, host organisms and bioreactors. Write the scientific name of the bacterium. The scientific name of the bacterium from which the thermostable polymerase enzyme is obtained is Thermus aquaticus. With a neat label diagram, explain the technique of gel electrophoresis in DNA technology. This is very, very important from examination point of view. So this is like the most likely question that might be asked in the coming board examination. Hello everyone, welcome back to the revision class of chapter 9 of second PUC biology, biotechnology principles and processes. Myself, Bisho Barani from the department of biology, Vidyashram Pre University College, the temple of excellence in Mysuru. In this particular session, I am going to discuss about the important concepts related to this particular chapter called Biotechnology Principles and Processes. This chapter has a weightage of 8 marks. This chapter is very important from examination point of view as it is having 8 marks of weightage and the concepts what you study in this particular chapter is very very important. So in this particular session I am going to discuss about the type of questions that might be asked in the coming examinations and the repeated questions that were previously asked in the previous question papers I have discussed in this particular session. Biotechnology is an integrated branch of biology which deals with the techniques using the living organisms made by microbes plant cells and animal cells to produce products and processes which is useful to human mankind. And biotechnology is not a very new branch of science. It has been followed by the human beings from the past thousand years. For example, the fermentation process, the making of bread or making of curd, etc. is nothing but the good old method of biotechnology. So let me move on to the important concepts of this particular chapter with a flow chart. Different steps in our DNA technology that is recombinant DNA technology. What are the important steps? This is very important which is asked in the examination for 5 marker questions. St stages of our DNA technology are the steps. First one is isolation of DNA, cutting of DNA at specific locations, isolation of desired DNA fragment, amplification of the gene of interest, ligation of DNA fragment into a vector, then insertion of RDNA in, into host cell organisms and recurring the foreign gene product. Types of bioreactors. This is also very important. So definitely they will ask the diagram of a bioreactor. So what are the types of bioreactors? Simple stirred tank bioreactor and sparse tank stirred tank bioreactor. Principles of biotechnology is mainly based on two very important core techniques, namely genetic engineering and bioprocess engineering. Bioprocess engineering. So, what are the two very important principles on which the biotechnology is based? It is on genetic engineering and bioprocess engineering. Tools of our DNA technology. What are the tools we use for our DNA technology? Enzymes like restriction enzymes, which are called molecular scissors, DNA ligases, which is called as molecular stitcher, then lyases, then cloning vectors, plasmids, and bacteriophage, competent of host organ heat shock method, microinjection method, and gene gun method. Moving on to the one marker question that might be asked from this particular chapter, like what might be the MCQs or multiple choice questions related to this particular chapter, I have given two examples here. Plant cells are bombarded with high velocity microparticles of gold or tungsten coated with DNA in a method as. So what is that method called? Biolistic microinjection or biolistic or heat shock or vector median, it is called biolistic. So option Option B is the right answer. Next, the commonly used vector for cloning genes in animal cells. Is it retrovirus or disarmed retrovirus or disarmed plasmid, T1 plasmid, acrobacterium, tumefacens? So it is disarmed retrovirus that is option B is the right answer. 
Moving on to the question number three. Write any four tools used in our DNA technology. Mention any two methods of introducing alien DNA into host cells. Name the stain used to visualize DNA fragments in gel electrophoresis. So write any four tools used in recombinant technology, enzymes, vectors, host organisms and bioreactors. Mention any two methods of introducing alien DNA into host cell, microinjection method, biolistic method, gene gun or vector, but then heat shock method and disarmed pathogen vectors. Name the stain used to visualize DNA fragments in gel electrophoresis. It is ethidium bromide. Then question number four. What is the function of DNA ligase? Already I told it is one very important enzyme which is called as a molecular stitcher. Ligase is an enzyme which joins or combines the corresponding ends of the two DNA fragments. Next, what is plasmid? The circular DNA that is autonomously replicating circular extra chromosomal DNA present in bacteria. This is also important. Next, write the use of PCR that is polymerase chain reaction and write the scientific name of the bacterium from which the thermostable DNA polymerase enzyme is obtained. So what are the uses of PCR? Multiple copies of gene of interest is synthesized in vitro, used to detect HIV in suspected AIDS patient, used to detect mutations in genes in suspected cancer patients and it is used to identify many genetic disorders. So all these are the very important uses of PCR that is polymerase chain reaction. Then write the scientific name of the bacterium. The scientific name of the bacterium from which the thermostable polymerase enzyme is obtained is Thermus aquaticus. With a neat label diagram, explain the technique of gel electrophoresis in DNA technology. This is very, very important from examination point of view. So this is like the most likely question that might be asked in the coming board examination. This concept is very important from examination point of view. I'll go to the next slide here. You can see the diagram. So with a neat label diagram, explain the technique of gel electrophoresis. Let me explain the technique of gel electrophoresis in DNA technology. The cut fragments of DNA by the action of RN is done, then are now separated and then isolated by agarose gel electrophoresis. Next, the agar is used to prepare the gel. So hence the name gel electrophoresis, which is extracted from brown algae. Then the stain used in the process is what? Ethidium bromide, very, very important concept. Next, the DNA is loaded in the wells. Here you can see the wells. The DNA is loaded in the wells made on the agarose gel and the setup is connected to electricity. When the charge is passed, the negatively charged DNA fragments will move towards the anode on the other end of the agarose gel slab. Due to the difference in thickness and weight, the DNA fragments move at different pace based on charge and mass ratio. The DNA is now stained with what? Ethidium bromide and absorbed under the UV light. So here you can see the well, the largest and the smallest DNA bands here you can see, right? So what is elution? Cutting of fragments from gel and isolating DNA is called elution. This isolated DNA is further used for further processes of recombinant DNA technology. Next, give an account of the development of Bt cotton, that is Bacillus thuringiensis cotton plant. Some strains of Bacillus thuringiensis have proteins that kill insects like coleopterans, that is the beetles or lepidopterans like it might be tobacco budworm or armyworm and dipterans like flies and mosquitoes. Bacillus thuringiensis forms an insecticidal protein called Bt toxin, crystal. So hence it is called cry protein. Crystal during a phase of their growth. It does not kill the bacillus as it exists as an inactive protoxins. But when an insect ingests the toxin, it becomes active due to alkaline pH of the gut, which solubilizes the crystals. Toxin binds to the surface of midgut epithelial cells, creating pores. It causes cell swelling and lysis and death of the insect. So Bt toxin genes were isolated from Bacillus thuringiensis and incorporated into crop plants such as, such as cotton, which is a very important commercial crop. So most Bt toxins are insect group specific. They are coded by cry genes. Example, proteins encoded by cry1ac, cry2ab genes control cotton bollworms 
and protein of cry 1a b gene controls corn borer so these are the very very important concept from examination point of view next what is a plasmid i already explained plasmid is an extra nuclear or extra chromosomal self replicating double stranded circular dna of bacteria mention any two methods of introducing alien dna into those already i told heat shock treatment micro injection method or biologic or armed disarmed pathogen vectors next name the process by which a desired gene amplification can be done explain the process so it is very important as gene amplification is done by polymerase chain reaction so what does pcr stand for polymerase chain reaction steps involved in pcr technique it involves three processes like what denaturation annealing which is also called as uh, renaturation extension or it can also be called as elongation so denaturation it involves heating of reaction tube containing target dna to 94 degree centigrade for 1 minute this temperature denatures and separates two strands of dna then annealing of primers already i told it is also called as renaturation this reaction mixture is cooled slowly to 55 degree centigrade for 1.5 minutes then the two primers pair with complementary base sequences present in ends of separated dna strands next step is extension of primers which is also called as what elongation the temperature of the reaction mixture is increased to 72 degree centigrade for 1 minute this temperature is suitable for the activity of dna polymerase it adds complementary deoxyribonucleotides one by one to hydroxyl 3 dash hydroxyl ends of primers as a result new dna strand is synthesized over target or template strand this is also i told a very important polymerase chain reaction and the steps involved in the polymerase chain reaction is very important it is like most probable question that might be asked in the board examination next differentiate between endonucleases and exonucleo these are nucleases enzymes these are a type of nucleases called endonucleases and exonuclease then diagrammatically represent recombinant dna technology so exonucleases removes the nucleotide so what are exo the very word itself will tell exo removes the nucleotides from the ends of dna and endonucleases cut the dna at specific positions anywhere in its length diagrammatically represent recombinant dna technology i think you can see this picture diagrammatic representation of our dna technology so here you can see the vector that is dna plasmid is introduced here it is see the same restriction enzyme cutting both foreign dna and vector dna at specific point and ligases as you know it is used to join foreign dna into the plasmid then there is a very important process called transformation where you can see the cells divide so this is a very important diagram from examination point of view next what is elution very important step which you come across the technique in gel electrophoresis the separated bands of dna are cut out from the agarose gel and extracted from the gel piece this step is called elution next question number 14 mention any two critical research areas of biotechnology this is also very important which is asked for two marker question providing the best catalyst in the form of improved organism usually a microbe or pure enzyme creating optimal conditions through engineering for a catalyst to act downstreaming processing technologies to purify the protein organic compound so these are the three we have given any two you can write mention any two critical research areas of biotechnology question number 15 it's a split question explain the process of denaturation annealing and extension with respect to polymerase chain reaction already i explained in the previous slide define plasmid also i have explained why restriction enzyme is called molecular scissor so Uh, the processes like denatur annealing and extension here denaturation means what it involves uh, heating of re uh, reaction tube containing target dna to 94 degree centigrade for 1.5 minute and this temperature denatures and separates the two strands of dna what is annealing which is also called as renaturation this reaction mixture is cooled slowly to 55 degree centigrade for 1.5 minute and the two primers pair with complementary base sequences present in the ends of separated dna strand next extension of primer which is also called elongation the temperature of the reaction mixture is increased to how much 72 degree centigrade for 1 minute this temperature why, why this temperature is taken that it, because it is suitable for the activity of dna polymerase it 
adds complementary deoxyribonucleotide one by one to the three dash hydroxyl ends of primers. As a result, new DNA strand is synthesized over target or template strand. What is plasmid already I told? It's an extra nuclear or extra chromosomal self-replicating double-stranded circular DNA of a bacteria. Why restriction enzyme? Restriction endonucleases are called as molecular scissor because they are called as molecular scissors since they are used to cut DNA precisely. Next, name the plasmid present in agrobacterium tumefacient that is TI plasmid. Then with an example explain the convention for naming restriction endonucleases scientifically that is ECORI where the first letter of the name comes from the genus first letter the, and the second two letters from the species and the letter R indicates the strain and Roman letter indicate the order in which the enzymes were isolated. This is also important. Next, name the stain used to visualize DNA fragments in gel electrophoethidium bromide. Question number 19. Mention two methods of introducing alien DNA. So, the already I explained in the previous slides. Recombinant DNA in the bacterial cells are incubated in ice followed by placing them briefly at 42 degrees centigrade which is called as heat shock method and then putting them back in ice and by micro injection introducing the recombinant DNA is directly injected into the nucleus of the animal cell. Then the plant cells are bombarded. What do you call that method? It is called as what? Biolistic or gene gun method. Disarmed pathogen ectas which when allowed infecting the cell transfer the recombinant DNA into the host. Then question number 20. Write any four tools that are used in our DNA technology already explained restriction enzymes, polymerase enzymes, ligases, vectors and host organisms. Then write the restriction site of echo RI enzyme that is 5-GAATTC 3 dash or 3 dash CTTAAG. Next, draw a neat label diagram of PBR322 that is plasmid of Bolivar and Roderick strain number 322. This diagram is very very important. So you need to learn this diagram which is one of the very important diagram from this particular chapter called Biotechnology Principles and Processes. Plasmid of Bolivar and Roderick strain number 322. Next, 23 question, 23rd question. Mention the importance of selectable markers in plasmids. It helps in identifying and eliminating non transformants selectively permitting the growth of the transformants. Any one can be mentioned. What are palindromic nucleotide sequences? Write the restriction site for echo R1 enzyme. So, the very word itself will tell you, like for example, Malayalam. or madam. So when you read from both the set forward and backward it means the same. So palindrome sequence in DNA is a sequence of base pairs that read the same on two strands in 5 dash 3 dash direction and in 3 dash 5 dash direction restriction side. So here you can see 5 G A A T T C 3 dash here 3 dash C T T here when you read like this forward and backward it means the same. Next. Write the important uh, use of the following in our DNA technology, PCR, ethereum bromide and bioreactors. PCR, it is used to synthesize multiple copies uh, like gene amplification, uh, copies of the gene of interest. Then ethereum bromide, already I mentioned, it is a stain used to used in gel electrophoresis for, to separate the DNA fragments. Bioreactor, it is used to produce large quantity of products where large volumes of culture can be processed. Where it, it's a big large container which is around 100 to 1000 liters capacity. Next, what is micro injection? It is a method of introducing recombinant DNA into the nucleus of an animal cell. Then moving on to question number 27. What is the significance of selectable, selectable marker in cloning vector? So, it's been repeated in the slide because this is one such question which was previously asked in the question paper, uh, previous year's question paper. So it means it is important. It helps in identifying and eliminating non transformants that is host cell without our DNA and selectively permitting the growth of the transformant that is host with our DNA. Very important diagram like it is a, so there are two types of bioreactors. One is called simple start tank bioreactor and the other one is called 
sparse tank bioreactor but this is the one that is a simple start tank bioreactor which is usually asked in the examination so this is the diagram you can here you can see the simple start tank with a motor foam breaker flat bladed impeller culture broth sterile air steam for sterilization acid base for ph control so labelings are very important if you draw a neat label diagram but if you miss out to label the parts unlabeled diagrams or unlabeled illustrations carry zero marks so make sure you label the minimum labelings that is been required for a particular question three marker means around eight then for five marker question around 10 labelings is a must then 29th question what is downstreaming process this is also important question a series of processes involved in the separation and purification of gene product before it is ready for marketing as a finished product next question number 30 define polymerase chain reaction name the enzyme used in it the reaction in which multiple copies of the gene or DNA of interest is synthesized in vitro using two sets of primers and enzymes that is thermostable DNA polymerase isolated from a bacterium called Thermus aquaticus, right? Then is called polymerase chain reaction. Next question number 31. Name the molecular scissors used in recombinant. Obviously, it is restriction endonuclease, REN. Draw a neat label diagram of a typical agarose gel electrode. The previous slide with the explanation it was us. Here only diagram. So this is a typical agarose gel electrophoresis. This is also a diagram very important from examination point of view. What are plasmids? Repeatedly I explain. Autonomously replicating extra chromosomal circular DNA of bacteria. Then 34th question. Mention two techniques to make host competent in our DNA technology, heat shock and microinjection method. Mention the technique used to separate DNA fragments in our DNA technology, gel electrophoresis. So question number 36, retroviruses are disarmed before using to deliver desirable genes into animal cells. Why? To make them non-pathogenic. Question number 37, classify restriction enzymes, mention the function of each. Two very important enzyme nucleases are what? Endonucleases and exonucleases. Endonucleases makes cut at specific positions within the DNA which is called as molecular scissor. Exonucleases removes nucleotides from the free ends of the DNA which is also called as molecular. That is the two types that is endonuclease makes cuts at specific positions within the DNA. Exonuclease removes nucleotides from the free ends of the DNA. Then define polymerase chain reaction. Multiple copies of the gene or DNA of interest is synthesized in vitro using two sets of primers and DNA polymer. Mention the different steps that are involved in the process of our DNA technology, isolation of genetic material, cutting of DNA at specific locations, amplification of gene of interest using PCR, insertion of recombinant DNA into the host cell or organism, obtaining the foreign gene product and downstream processing. Then question number 40, what is already I repeated? Question number 41, write a note on downstreaming processing. This is very important. Downstreaming processing, after completion of the biosynthetic stage, the product has to be subjected through a series of processes before it is ready for marketing as a finished product is called as downstreaming processing. The process include what? Separation and purification of desired product which are collectively referred to as downstream processing. The product has to be formulated with suitable preservatives. Such formulation has to undergo thorough clinical trials as in case of drugs. Strict quality control testing for each product is also required. The downstreaming processing and quality control testing vary from product to product. Hope you have understood the important questions that has been discussed in this particular chapter called Biotechnology Principles and Processes which is having a weightage of 8 marks. The questions what I have discussed in this particular revision class are the questions which were previously asked in the previous question paper. So, hope you have understood the important concepts related to this particular chapter which is having a weightage of 8 marks. Thank you.